Hello, Pisces couples. How are you? I hope all is well. I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you're seeing my big old head. You're watching my channel. Hi, guys. Um, I'm here to do a love read for you guys. So this will be for couples only. Um, I did singles a couple days ago, and I realized I didn't do couples, so I had to go back and backtrack. So here I am. Um, this will be for the collective that watch me and for cross watchers as well. Take what resonates and throw the rest away. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly. It could be for another Pisces couple. Um, what else I was going to say? Oh, to book me for a personal read or to cash out me a donation, it's in the description box on my page. And I'm going to get started. So I don't want to take forever. I'm using the Hearts of Love Oracle deck by um, Serendipity Tarot. She's on YouTube. Some of you are subscribed to her. I love her deck. I love her. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to get into it. Let us pray first. Spirit of the Most High. Ancestors, Easters, Angels, give me messages for Pisces couple, for the collective that watch me and for the collective that will watch me. Pisces couple messages, please, Spirit. Angels of the Four Corners, messages for Pisces couples. Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Michael, give me messages for Pisces couples, please. <clears throat> Protect me as I go in and out. Higher power, we are nothing without you. Praise your name each and every day. Amen. All right, guys, let's get into it. I'm going to pull four cards from this deck, and I'll get confirmation from that deck. They got the crystal on it, so it's just waiting, okay? So um, let's get into it. Truth is, the love you gave was too good to be true. I feel like this person had been dogged so many times and done wrong by so many people in the past in other relationships, even in childhood trauma with other people, parents. I don't know, mom or dad, I'm picking up, but I'm picking up that they... I, I, they've always felt like anything good is always too good to be true because they've always been surrounded by nothing but bad, negative things with 202 on the clock. So they feel like, yeah, the magician to me in, in reverse is what I'm picking up. It's always a manipulative energy that they've been around. I'm going to get too hard confirmation for that. You have softened and purified my heart. Ooh. I feel like this person had a heart of stone and no matter what you did, you felt like it was nothing. It was... It wasn't helping. You felt like this person was cold-hearted, but little do you know, as a Cups baby, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you warm this person's emotions up. You brought out their emotions. That's what you do. Your Cups was two, three, four on the clock. So you made this, you softened them up and you purified them. You know, you cleaned them. Okay. The, the negative, the bad things that they had going on when they met you, you purified it. I took your heart and I stepped on it. They, exact, they did exactly what their card says. They took your love for granted. I'm picking up infidelity, money issues, um, baby mama, baby daddy issues, lying, okay? I forgot to tell you I love you, and I was afraid of those words. For some of you, this you never even was said, okay? I feel like some of you said it, and they didn't say it, and then the times they did say it, for some of you, they took the shit back. I'm picking up the emperor for three, three, 313 on the clock. This is Taurus, uh, Aries energy. Okay, so this is definitely giving me an energy of um, trying to take control of a situation. And this person is trying to constantly control their emotions. The truth is, the love you gave was too good to be true. Why is that here? Pisces couple. Give me two cards, spirit. Somebody is at a crossroads with the seven of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Trying to decide what they want to do with this situation. Yep, you got the Five of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, the Two of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, the Five of Swords. I mean, the Five of Pentacles is feeling left out in the cold, and this is a breakup. Okay, someone, this is how someone's feeling. It could be you. Okay, this is devastating. Devastating after something didn't go right. The Two of Swords in reverse is lies exposed. Like I said, I picked that up. Okay, postponement and resentment being picked up. Someone could feel resentment with 411 on the spot. This is the information you're getting. You need to know. The two of wands is here at the bottom of the deck. This is an indecision, not making the fear of change. Someone's scared to leave. So it's like stuck in between Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Okay, so you got a lot of twos here. This is about choices. You got the full moon coming, which is 822, which is nothing but twos. The eight broke down is four twos. And then you got 10 twos, 10, completion. Mm, I didn't even think about this. This is definitely about completion of a cycle coming with the full moon, with those Yep. You gave, you, you have softened and purified my heart. Why is that here? Pisces couples. 
Why is that here? You have softened and purified my heart. Yeah, the Knight of Cups is definitely someone that was a cheater, deception, unrequited love. They're coming up as a knight because whether it's a man or a woman, it's just someone immature and young, okay? Um, emotionally immature as well. They could have had a one-night stand on you. Um, you could have met this person as well. They went, you know, into a relationship. This is overnight cheating. Um, I mean, unrequited love, overnight, uh, uh, one-night stand. Goodness, I couldn't get out. Cheating, infidelity. Yeah. And that's what you're having an indecision about. That's the, the decision is to stay or go. Because the two of wands came back out. And the reason is because, oh, yeah, this person is very egotistical. Yeah, 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 making a decision, Pisces. The three of us, uh, the three of pentacles is here. This is definitely um mistakes. Okay. Not learning from a mistake and lack of commitment someone is showing in this connection. The Knight of Swords is definitely a flighty motherfucker. Bully, forceful, a know-it-all. You can't tell this person anything. This is your mate. Whether it's man or woman, they're very egotistical. But you want wish fulfillment with this person. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse is Virgo towards Capricorn energy. This is definitely um, deception, a gold digger. Someone that could be around for money. Shady liar, okay? Overindulgement, in other things, but... The world is here, which means you want to wish fulfillment out of this. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. Okay? The world is definitely like uh, seeing this person as a soulmate. Okay? And this is a decision you're trying to make. Yep. And you're trying to be happy about the decision. The page of wands is here. A letter, text, message, phone call. But this is you trying to make a decision. Look at him. And trying to be happy with the decision. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <clears throat> you took your heart. I took your heart, then that's what I'm talking about. I took your heart and I stepped on it. Why is that here? Pisces couple. I took your heart and I stepped on it. Three of Wands and refers fell out. This is clip wings feeling frustrated. Some self some self-doubt and disappointed in this situation. Disappointed in choices. And actually someone's having lack of foresight. They don't even know where they're going. After someone stepped on your on your heart, it's like I don't even know where I'm going now. You know, that's the three of wands. That's why I fell out. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Page of Pentacles, Virgo, towards Capricorn energy. This is frustrated and with a disloyal person. This person is very immature. That's why they stepped on your heart. Five of Swords, they like controversy. <laughs> this is trying to move on. You want to move on from this conflict. <clears throat> this is a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Talk ends conflict, compromising. There could have been some violence here, too. Bullying, verbal abuse. The lover's card in reverse is definitely a disloyal person. Trust issues, um, disharmony. You're not aligned with this person. Gemini energy, okay? Imbalance, conflict, disattaching, dis discontent with the situation. Someone feels stupid in judgments here. The full card is uh, Aries Taurus energy. The full card is uh, in reverse. So this is feeling stupid. Lack of hope and faith in the situation and lack of commitment. For somebody the judgment card is here and this is definitely renewal awakening and making a snap decision i feel like your money's suffering in this connection for some of you i'm sorry i forgot to tell you i love you <clears throat> i forgot to tell you i love you i was too afraid of those words why is that here i feel like this person took you back some time too this is a letting go Okay, I'm seeing um, the death card here. So this is about letting go Scorpio energy. Dark water sign energy. New beginning. Okay, transformation. The seven of pentacles is here. Virgo towards Capricorn. Oh, yeah, somebody was sleeping around. Queen of Wands is here. This could be a man or a woman. King of Queen of Wands is here in reverse. My readings have no sex origin. The seven of pentacles is Virgo towards Capricorn energy. This is uh, procrastinating um, with doing something. Lazy. Someone not putting forth the effort and the commitment, basically, here, okay? And it's because they're doing other things with other people, for some people. It could, they could just be entertaining people on the phone, talking, or in person. But there's something going on that that's why it's the lack of love. They're like, they can't say it because it's like they're doing other things. Give me two more cards, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. You got cards that turned over. Okay. The Four of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is in reverse. The Chariot is Sagittarius energy um, and Cancer energy. So you got Water Sign energy twice. The Four of Cups is giving me an energy of uh, letting go of regret, focused on moving forward, 
the end of feeling stuck, motivated to move forward, okay? Because it's in reverse. And then you got um, the chariot. That's why I said moving forward, motivated to move forward. This is overcoming obstacles and being victorious in a situation. Whether you see it or not, there is some type of victory coming. I feel like some of you are not talking to your mate with the um, eight of wands in reverse. There's no communication. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, energy, and the five of cups is here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This harmony, two of cups in reverse, five of cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy. Um, with those two numbers being added up, that's seven. That's reflection and assessment in tarot. It's like you have to sit back and reflect and assess on the situation because this person has backstabbed you. It's been some type of betrayal. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Um, the two and the five is... Uh, the five is healing and forgiving and moving forward. Okay, there's some type of regret, a breakup, guilt. Now, but the two of cups lets you know it was a lot of bullying and abuse. Okay, this is divorce, separation, breakup, uh, the end of the end of a friendship or a relationship. Let me get the other deck really quick. Okay, just say me. Okay, I'm gonna do the rebel deck, the couple's rebel deck. Hold on, one. Minute. I need to get some messages. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do six cards. Ooh. Spirit, give me six cards for Pisces. This is the couples deck. It kind of get a little revelish with the mouth, so just work with me here. Pisces, give me six cards. Pisces couples. Pisces couples. Six cards. Check yourself. You're, you're playing with fire, okay? So someone needs to check themselves in this connection because someone's playing with fire. You play with fire, you get burned, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Again, people are messy. Love them anyway, okay? That don't mean deal with them. That means you can love them from afar. You know, you can have messy family members and you cannot deal with them. Um, It isn't personal. Shit's not always about you. This is how someone feels about their mate, either you or them. Have sex. Do you really need a car for this? <laughs> Someone's not doing anything. So, you know, it's, it's saying you guys need to fuck. <laughs> um, but not if they cheat, no. But, so just take it as it resonates, okay? Um, fuck your job. Yes, work is important. Your partner is more important. I feel like someone feels like they're, that you're putting work before them or either your partner's putting work before you. Last card is agree to disagree. You see shit differently. That's life. With another person. Good times. Okay, Pisces couples. This has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me. Come back and see me. I am Phoenix Rise, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sending you love and light. Don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button. It helps support the channel. And it also helps me um, tap into your energy. So when I do reads, they're more for you. Because you're in my energy, okay? Um, to get a personal read or cash out me donation, it's in the description box or on my page. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.